Also ja, ich bin, äh, ich bin äh, bis jetzt bin ich noch nicht einverstanden, wem oder wer ich wähle. Wer der. Oder was haben Sie für äh, Von meiner Seite lieber die linke Seite, wenn es um die Politiker geht. Ich meine, der, der Herr Fizzo ist äh, zweiseitig, weil er redet äh, für die einheimische äh, Wahl etwas anderes als seine äh, Anhänger, politische Anhänger, redet in Brüssel. Er, er, er redet nicht eindeutig, also er, er spricht etwas anderes in Brüssel und etwas anderes in, 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 in Slowakei. In Slowakei. Das meine ich auch, weil, das, ja, weil dies, der ukrainische Konflikt äh, liegt nicht, dass wir in der Slowakei reden, sondern das, was meinen die, die Amerikaner und was meinen die Russen. Das ist Konflikt zwischen, zwischen Amerikanern und zwischen äh, Russen. Wir haben dazu nicht so viel geredet. Einfach, wir können helfen, was wir schaffen, aber, aber das... das eine deutliche äh, Lösung äh, liegt beim äh, Amerikanern und beim Russen. Äh, die Ukrainer sind einfach das, äh, ein, ein Mittel. Das ist Konflikt zwischen Amerikanern und Russen, nicht zwischen Slowaken und Russen oder zwischen äh, äh, Ru äh, Slowaken und Ukrainer. Äh, ich, äh, ich, ich frage mich selber, was, was, was das eigentlich, also was das eigentlich äh, für unsere Zukunft bedeutet, die Waffen ohne, ohne grenzlos nach Ukraine zu liefern. Das ist, ich weiß nicht. Die Waffen sind das Letzte in, in menschlichen Leben. Und ich weiß und ich fühle, dass die Ukraine einfach nicht gut leben und nicht im, im zufrieden sind. Aber was ich schon vorher gesagt habe, das Losung liegt nicht beim Ukrainer, sondern beim Amerikaner und Russen. Na, äh, die Russen sind Aggressoren. Das ist einfach äh, klar. Und die, die sollten nicht etwas auf der ukrainischen Boden zu machen. Also die sollten zurück nach Hause gehen. Ja, sofort. Aber das Welt liegt, das, naja, was soll ich jetzt sagen? Äh, das Konflikt wird gelöst, nur wenn die Amerikaner mit den Russen reden, äh, anfangen. Äh, also, also die Fake News, die Fake News äh, liegen äh, bei äh, beiden Seiten. Also, also die äh, Konspirationen oder wie ich in Deutsch äh, sagen kann, äh, die liegen bei, äh, beim, äh, pardon, bei an, äh, auch eine Fronte und die, die zweite äh, äh, Fronte. Also, also die Konspirationen liegen auf andere Seiten. Die äh, manche und äh, Leute einfach äh, schaffen nicht, die, die alle Informationen beherrschen. Und äh, wir alle sind einfach beeinflusst von falschen Informationen und äh, wir haben eigentlich keine Zeit, das irgendwie, äh, irgendwie äh, wie ich äh, sagen soll, äh, beeinflussen. Das heißt, äh, wir kriegen irgendwelche Informationen, aber wir schaffen es nicht, irgendwie zum Klarkommen, ob, ob die Informationen äh, klar oder, oder in ein Wahr ist oder ist eine falsche, falsche äh, Wahr. Ja? Ich meine, die Russen sollten nicht auf der Ukraine bleiben, das ist zuerst. Ja. Und als zweites, die höhere Politik, die sollten miteinander mehr reden. Und ich glaube, um diesen Zeitpunkt, also in diesem Zeitpunkt ist eigentlich, ich glaube, nicht so deutlich, was die Ukraine fühlen und was die Ukrainen wollen. Ich glaube, das ist eine Maschinerie für die hohe Politik und die, die machen einfach eigene, eigene Willen, wie ich soll sagen so. Meine, okay, ich also bin. Dankeschön. Oh. Okay, okay. okay. vielen Dank. Schönen ja. Tag noch. Äh, über Wahl? Über die Wahl. Ich wollte wissen, was über die Wahl Okay, um, was ist wichtig für sie in dieser Wahl? Was ist für sie in der Wahl wichtig? Uh, no, für mich ist es äh, richtig, äh, äh, dass äh, in die Nächste Regierung äh, auch äh, christliche, äh, christliche Leute äh, gehen, äh, sie, sie, wer, äh, die Moral sind und, und, äh, und äh, haben ein Gefühl für arme Leute, für, für Kinder, für Behinderte. Und das ist für mich das Wichtigste, was ich sehen will in die Zukunft. <lacht> Thank you.
which party she will vote for or yeah. has voted. Können Sie uns erzählen praktisch, für welche Partei Sie generell stehen oder für welche Partei Sie äh, Ah, das will ich nicht äh, gesagt. Ich, ich, ich war noch nicht äh, wählen. Äh, und, äh, aber ich äh, prefer I think, äh, <lacht> äh, richtige Partei oder, oder der erste der Fizzo. Der Fizzo ist ein, ein äh, guter Politik. Äh, er ist nicht äh, ganz beliebt, äh, vor allem äh, ich äh, kann auch äh, etwas anderes vorstellen, aber, aber er hat äh, ein wichtiges Wort in unserer Politik und ist äh, ist, äh, kann, kann, die, kann ihre Meinung sagen und sehr deutlich kann diese Meinung sagen und äh, ich glaube, er kann auch äh, schützen die Leute, die es äh, brauchen. Ja? So denke ich. <lacht> Aber das ist nur meine Meinung und äh, es ist nicht sicher, welche Partei ich äh, wählen äh, werde. Aber äh, jetzt habe ich es so. <lacht> ja. Uh, das ist der erste, erste. Kann ich fragen, so Fito, he has said um, no. Fito. Fito. He, he has said no um, more weapons to Ukraine. Does she support this? Äh, ich, ich denke, dass Ukraine man muss unterstützen, aber mit äh, Lebensmitteln und so, aber nicht, nicht mit Waffen. Weil die, der Krieg endet niemand, wenn äh, andere Staaten immer die Waffen äh, senden dort. Und, und, und äh, Fizzo, ich glaube, er auch will Dialog zwischen, äh, zwischen, zwischen Russland und Ukraine äh, präferieren. Ja? Und, und das ist wichtig, damit es Freiheit, Frieden, Frieden wird in, in, in der Welt. Es ist katastrophisch, einmal Deutsch, einmal Englisch. Ja. Ja, er, ist, er ist eine reiche Politik, der, der, hat, der, der kann etwas zu tun, damit es Frieden werde. Ja. Oh, Solka, Solka. Okay. Weiß nicht, ob es sie verwenden kann. Alles Gute. Okay, danke schön. Ask who you voted for or are going to vote for? Uh, I will uh, go for vote. Uh, I didn't uh, do it uh, till yet, but we will. Uh, now I have to buy something and after lunch uh, we will go with family vote for someone. At the moment, uh, I have pre uh, I prefer something. Uh, this is a safe space. I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. After 30, 30 years, I should know that it's my uh, personal or uh, I don't know private uh, decision. Uh, I understand. But I but, but but for sure, uh, I will vote. Uh, party or parties, uh, I don't know in the moment, uh, which uh, are on the democracy side of the spectrum, uh, if I can say. Not okay. fascists, not extremists, uh, no. So let's talk about some of the big issues in the election. Migration has been a, a problem no. or a discussion point, in, you don't think so? No, it's, no. Uh, it's only, uh, I think, uh, it's as usual uh, here. They are themes uh, they are not so relevant or most important for Slovakia yeah, but they uh, take place uh, the majority of the place uh, in the discussions like uh, population of beers uh, or immigrants or I don't know what else but we have much more uh, much more deeper problems what we have here in Slovakia yeah. Uh, when you when you are speaking about school system, uh, health system, uh, it's uh, going from year to year. 
to be better, uh, to be worse here and worse here. So, uh, and we are discussing about population of beers. So that's it for, whole July was full of this discussion. It's not. Uh, I think it's not proper place uh, for that. But uh, I am understanding that they are trying uh, to to ta they are tra targeting on uh, emotions, uh, and these teams are. Uh, in complementation with emotions. So that's it, the uh, reason why. But I do want to talk about an international topic that's really being watched in Brussels, and that is the fact that uh, Samir, led by Robert Fito, has said that if his party becomes the next government, there'll be no more support for Ukraine. How do you feel about that? Yes, uh, this fear is there. Uh, if I would be a uh, Russian agent, I would be not speak uh, different as a Robert uh, F. Uh, I don't like uh, to speak his name, uh, so it, it is... It is a decision too, uh, you can imagine, after so many. Our three-time premier uh, and uh, now, uh, I don't know, accused, uh, but involved uh, in mafia state, uh, what we hear now have 40 people, uh, what was uh, in the court uh, and uh, said guilty as a mafia members of in the state structures. Horrible. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes. Just okay. two minutes, okay. Uh, what's important in this election for you? Uh, for me, it's very important because I'm um, on pension now and uh, I uh, need... Um, um, it's totally like it is... Um, to be... Uh, yeah. And may I ask... Um, it, are you happy to say which party you would like to win? Perhaps I uh, uh, didn't uh, uh, vote, uh, but uh, I will. Yes. And uh, I think uh, Slovak National Party. Okay. And can I ask, um, they may go into um, coalition with Smear? And the Slovak National Party have yes. talked about there being big problems with Western globalization. W what's your uh, point of view on that? Perhaps it is a problem uh, in global, also in America, in, um, in Brussels. But uh, I think it's not so easy to... Uh, to, to make a step back. It's, it's not so easy. But would you like to, do you agree? I mean, in Western Europe, they're talking about um, issues around homosexuality and transsexuals. It, it, this is something that the Slovak part, National Party have said, traditional values, traditional values for Slovakia. Is that something you agree? Very also family. I'm... One more time, traditional yeah, I am for family, for normal family, but I uh, know a lot of my friends are also homosexual, but they are normal for me. It's, it's, it's uh, very important for me. There are also these uh, people uh, among us, but no problem for me. And... Uh, Ukraine, Slovak National Party say they want to stop the war by sending no more army military equipment to Ukraine. Where do you stand on this? Uh, I am on um, a peace um, dialogues. It, it, uh, it, no, no, uh, no war with the weapons. It's, it's not normal for me. And so does that mean you think you, um, Slovakia should maybe stop sending military help to Ukraine? Military help, yeah, but uh, not, not humanitarian help. So, could, so you, you want to stop military help? Yeah. Could yeah. you say that? Yeah. Could, could you say it in a sentence? Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, I um, want to stop military uh, help but not humanitarian help for Ukraine. And can I ask, um, lots of people say this election Russia is 
sending lots of information, telling people that they should be pro-Russian. Do you think the West, so America, is also trying to influence this election, America and Brussels? I don't know. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps no. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There are propaganda also on Russian side, also on America or, or Brussels side. It's, it's propaganda for both. And where do you see Slovakia for the future? With Europe, with Brussels and America, or more independent and having better relations with Russia and China? Uh, somewhere between. The, n not not uh, very strong for Russia and not very strong for Brussels or America. Between. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate your time. We actually going. To... Uh, could you tell me um, the election today? Yeah. Uh, who do you think will win? Who will win? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Honestly, in this moment, this is uh, difficult to say. There is uh, really, uh, according to pools, it was very close, so I, can, uh, I cannot tell you this. And do you mind me asking who you are voting for? Uh, I don't want to tell it, <laughs> sorry. Uh, lo lots of discussion. For uh -huh. you, what has been important in this election to decide for you? Mm -hmm. What was for me important? How will be the future for the young people if we will stay in the European Union uh, and all the institutions like NATO and so on? <laughs> I mean, that, that's a vein that people have talked about, this difficulty of whether Slovakia will sort of look forward towards Europe in the future or whether it will look towards the East. Wh wh where do you stand on this? Uh, for sure in the European Union I, I, I would like to stay, this is the best uh, uh, place where to be for Slovakia. And um, some parties have talked about stopping Slovakia's military support in Ukraine, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, this is a difficult question again. Uh, I'm rather uh, for support currently, but uh, I wish to end this war for sure. How, how do you think the war can end? Um, some of the politicians have said by Slovakia continuing to send weapons that this only prolongs the conflict. Mm, this is not my view. <laughs> Yeah, at this uh, moment, uh, yeah, if uh, the weapons will not be sent, of course, it will uh, the conflict maybe uh, end uh, sooner. However, maybe not with the outcome we wish. Thank you so much for your time. Today. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On. Okay. okay. Um, what's important for you in this election? What? what? What's important in this election? What? What issues? Oh, it is very for me very hard. Uh, you must uh, speak for me easy, okay. easy. This election today in Slovakia. Yeah, what yeah. Things are important. And for water, for okay. water. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm have only one. Uh, uh, want to speak for Slovakian. You don't hearing this uh, party what you uh, tell you. I'm uh, working for you all. No, 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 no. You must have uh, your eyes, your mind, and uh, your heart, and uh, take the uh, party what uh, not talking and uh, uh, working. Which party is this? I'm. Uh, I'm go from my fr uh, my girlfriend in uh, one uh, one man have uh, ill and uh, help help him help him. But, but which party is for you? Yeah, for me is party. Jak jsem říkal, Šimečka. The what ta partaj se menuje? Progresivne Slovensko. 
progressives lost, but progressives like it. Yes, thank you. We, we thank you. So <laughs> many thank people. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, what's important for you in this election? Je to pre mňa dôležité pre budúcnosť, pre budúcnosť mojich detí, mojich vnukov. Chcem, aby nemuseli sa báť o to, že všetko, čo sa nadobudlo, rozkradnú nejakí populisti, ktorí veľa sľubujú a málo toho splnia. Takže verím, že tieto voľby prinesú zmenu a bude to zmena k lepšiemu. And um, Ukraine, it's an issue that's been very important in this election. Some parties say we will send humanitarian aid to Ukraine, but no more military aid. Is this something you agree with? Uh, I think... Uh, it, uh, po slovensky. Myslím si, že je dôležité pomáhať Ukrajine, lebo aj od toho záleží e, naša budúcnosť. And um, people say there is lots of fake news in this election. Um, the, the media in the West say this is Russia, uh, but there, the US ambassador has said America is also paying to silence politicians. What's your point of view? Uh, nie dobre rozumiem, uh, čo sa pýtate. Takže neviem vám odpovedať, lebo nie mi je jasná otázka. And do you know who you will vote for in the election? Uh, yes, I know. Are you happy to share? Well, yeah, why not? PS. And why will you vote for PS? Uh, because it's a warm... <laughs> I'm a f uh, 51 years old and uh, after this 30 years, what is Slovakia... Uh, Slovakia in this situation or this? Is for me, is just... This is a just one uh, one thing to change the everything what has happened here last 30 years because it's the same 30 years around was here one was major fits so it's always the same and Maybe is the time to change, and time to change is a uh, go the back to the west, not uh, looking to the Russian and the east. We have here the Russian's army 20 years, and I think so is going to be enough. So you're, you're pro Brussels, looking to the west, did yeah, you say? Yeah. Okay. What do you make of the fact that Smear are looking like they're leading in the elections, and they are a pro-Russian party? Um, Pro-Russian party is for me is uh, I'm a liberal, and for me it's uh, too important. Every pupil has a chance to life. It's not nothing the matter with girls, boys, LGBT, or it's, you know, it's absolutely. And uh, all this stuff around what we are, the Slovaks. Yeah, we are Slovaks. I'm a proud, I'm, I'm Slovak, but we are a small country and we need uh, communicated and uh, participation and working for the, with the other countries. We, we, uh, we are nothing when we are alone. This country has five million people. When the Russian or the other side uh, want to move, nobody knows so, so Slovakia exists. It's, it's historical. 
And I just want to ask you about disinformation in this campaign. Um, there's been accusations that pro-Russian channels are sowing disinformation, but the US ambassador to Slovakia just said that the US has paid millions of dollars to silence political voices um, like some of the politicians from Smear. Do you think there's disinformation on both sides? Yeah, I, I, I want to say I want to thank Russians and the United States, this, these two countries are absolutely similar. This is two countries and was after the Second World War, is the same and the other side. One side is Russia and the other side is the United States. And they have the, the priorities. You know, they have the priorities in Asia, they have priorities in Europe, but it's the same. It's the same country, but we for, uh, for, uh, get in one, one another country, is China and uh, India. There's a two and a half million, uh, billion people there. Business here, not here, in the, all around the world, is the Chinese. So is it okay for the US to silence political voices in Slovakia? Mm, yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Why? Silence. Mm. Uh, mm. It's hard to say, uh, but um, <laughs> I don't think so. It's, uh, here in Europe, in the Middle Europe, is always the problem. We cannot live in, uh, in uh, our own. We need some bigger brother. The 40 years was the Soviet Union, yet or now is the United States. But we need a, this middle, uh, mid, uh, middle way, you know, S something between. And uh, well, uh, when I was uh, absolutely happy was uh, when uh, Slovakia comes to European Union and we come the great, there's a lot of problems in the European Union, it's not the United States. The United States was born in a, 400 years ago, but the European has always a problem with uh, culture and never the France or German or in England or Slovakia and Hungary or Czechs has problems. This is a historical, but it's a, only one uh, uh, only one. What we we can do is be together. This, this is. I'm so sorry for my English. Very much and it's for, for, Thank you very much. It is for. Who you will vote for? Uh, Which party? Um, Who will you vote for? I don't know yet. You don't know. Okay. Um, this election, Ukraine has been a big issue. Um, Robert Pito's party has said they will stop arming Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the right thing to do at this point? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will help Ukrainian, but uh, I've, uh, I'm not sure if uh, we still uh, with weapons. But I think some uh, kind of help we uh, still use for Ukraine. So humanitarian help rather than military help? Uh, I don't support military way because I think uh, this uh, way still uh, support this conflict. But I think uh, some human support will be fine if we still continue. This. Um election there's been a lot of talk about um, lesbian gay bisexual transsexual mm -hmm. issues uh, wh why do you think this has been a big discussion point in Slovakia mm, I think uh, we still some uh, controversial with this thing but um, I don't judge it's a choice people to human choice uh, I don't think it's a very kind of problem, but I think uh, that we will still some uh, controversial this way. And there's been a lot of fake news in the election. Uh, many 
uh, outlets saying this is pro-Russian channels creating the fake news. But the US ambassador to Slovakia has just said his country has paid millions of dollars to silence voices from smear party. So for you, is it problematic that there's disinformation from the American, from the West side as well? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that the people will, may, uh, will uh, still... Um, uh, still some... Uh, uh, you must know is this true or false and uh, research uh, from many uh, channels. Uh, so I think it's good when people uh, true uh, when people still looking for information and uh, it's only his uh, uh, only human uh, uh, choice it's uh, this news true or false what are the main issues that you are looking at in the election that will help you decide who to vote for mm. i think uh, uh, i think it's uh, uh, some uh, uh, program, uh, and I I look for some uh, uh, good vote program. But what issues? What issues are mm. important to you? Economy, e migration. Uh, economy, war. economy. Uh, maybe inflation. I think it's so high, so I look for uh, vote some uh, some. Sam uh, will change it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye. At the moment? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. Um, what are the important issues for you in this election? For me, it's important that somebody who was there before is not going to come back again. Uh, are you interested in the economy, migration? Um, how Slovakia helps Ukraine. I'm interested in all of those topics, but it's going to be a long journey for Slovakia, and I know that. But I want to prevent that something will come back what was here before. I don't want that anymore. You're talking, obviously, about Smear Party, I assume, there, uh, who are running high in the polls. Why do you think Robert Fito's party has resonated so much with Slovakians? It's, I think the Slovakia is now split between two parts, one's really against him and one's really voting still, still for him and not seeing everything what was bad and forgot already about it, I, I would think. One of the platforms he has talked about is to stop sending military aid to Ukraine. Recent polls have suggested that 51% of Ukrainians think, uh, sorry, Slovakians, think that either Ukraine or the West were to blame for the war. Do you think it's right to continue sending arms to Ukraine? Yes, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I agree with it. That's why I need it. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. I'll, I'll okay. look in a second. Okay. <laughs> so we were just talking there about the war in Ukraine. Where do you stand in terms of Slovakia's position of continuing to send military aid or perhaps rolling back from that and only sending humanitarian aid? Well, I believe also that uh, not only humanitarian aid, humanitarian aid, I believe that uh, Slovakia should send any kind of help to Ukraine because I don't believe that uh, Russia will stop with this war so e easily. It need to be defended. It will be very difficult. Uh, I believe that only way is to defeat Russia, but it's impossible. Uh, to finish the war, it can be only that Russia do something from inside against put, putting down and then trying to negotiate the other world. Okay, um, and you were saying just a moment ago that you feel that this is not just a Russian issue, it's an, a NATO the West issue too? Well, you see, uh, United States, they recognize that uh, President Reagan made the deal with Gorbachev that uh, NATO will not spend on the countries of the Eastern Bloc, uh, but they say it, it's, not, it's nothing written. So, uh, 
when uh, you believe there, uh, I believe you remember the Cuban crisis, crisis when Russia wanted to put the atomic weapons on Cuba. No, but uh, to put uh, nuclear weapons in Turkey, it was okay on the frontiers with Russia. So it's uh, very difficult to understand this, uh, this position of the uh, United States because, uh, for instance, there were uh, military practicing uh, near Latvia and Estonia and <laughs> when Putin put the forces on the frontier, frontier with uh, Estonia and Latvia, it was deep, uh, it was very difficult no, sorry, it, it was a big problem for NATO that Russian forces are near the uh, borders of the countries of the NATO, but that the NATO uh, military forces are close to the Russia, that's, that was no problem for the uh, United States. I'm not for Putin anyway, but uh, we have to put the real, uh, real all these situations in the real position right now. What it's Europe is paying bill for the American uh, American fight against Russia. That is my real deep opinion. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much as well. And I hope on Saturday. Let's talk about some of the main issues. Uh, traditional values. What are you looking for in a party that you want to run the next government? Uh, I think a more, more conservative party. I'm not a fan of uh, progressive uh, Slovakia because it's pro me too liberal. But uh, I'm still not decided what I will, uh, which party I will uh, elect tomorrow. And uh, the other big question has been over migrants and people coming into Slovakia. How do you feel about that as an issue? Uh, about the migrants, uh, I don't like that the, there's no, no control at the border for it, but I don't like that the, the, our government decided to solve the crisis with migrants, that they closed the foreign uh, policy offices because uh, uh, then people who were waiting one and a half months for the appointment to, to get the temporary residency, who want to be here uh, legally, like students who are studying in Slovakia, they simply can't go there, so the, the appointment were closed, and uh, they need to uh, uh, make a, another appointment, which will be in one and a half months, so the document will expire, and this is, a, this is what I don't like, because I work with the foreign students, so that's, I, I, I understand the, the problem now. And the other big question is the war happening in Ukraine. You have progressive Slovakia that say they want to continue supplying military aid. And then you have other parties like SNS and Smear who say we're happy to give humanitarian aid to Ukraine, but we want to stop the weapons because we'd like the war to end. Where do you stand on that? Uh, I would like to uh, stop, the end, uh, stop the war. But I don't know it's, uh, how to do it because uh, it's not so easy, I think. Do you think it's better to stop sending more ammunition to Ukraine because that would force maybe negotiation? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, so it's, it's political problem, so they must be solved, I think. Um, what about disinformation in this election? There's been a lot of talk about pro-Russian channels providing disinformation, but also the US ambassador said that uh, the US has provided millions of dollars to try and silence the voices of some political parties here. I don't know, but this information is uh, uh, always be here and it will be because there are a lot of social in social media and there is no, no one controlling that. So and the, the people are believing in this and they don't uh, don't um, uh, uh, they don't uh, evaluating. The, they, they don't looking for the proof of this uh, information. So that's the problem. So thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And good luck.